Hey there, I'm Richard Byrne. So last week I posted on my YouTube channel and I posted on my blog and on Facebook a tutorial on how to make copies of Google Documents that are shared with you in view only mode. Right? And I got a great comment from a reader on my Facebook page asking about the ethics of making a copy of a document that's marked as view only and whether or not that was ethical. So I thought I'd take a moment to kind of explain my position about that. So first of all, I will often share my own Google documents in workshop settings or in other professional development settings, and I'll share them as view only so that participants can make a copy and then add their own notes as they go without affecting the original. Now you can also do a similar thing in Google Classroom, but in most professional development settings that I go into, not everyone is going to be a part of my Google Classroom. Now if I was in a school and we were all in a Google Classroom set up in advance, I might do it that way, but otherwise, I just go in and say, here's the link to the view only document, and here's how you make a copy, make a copy and write in your notes as we go through the workshop or go through the presentation. Now, when I do that, there's really nothing to stop people from making a copy and then cutting out my name from it or cutting out any of my uh, identifiable things and then using it as their own or passing it off as their own. And I have seen some cases where people have done that. Um, and it doesn't sit well with me, obviously. It, it's you know intellectually kind of lazy and uh, not to mention plagiarism and copyright and all that to pass it off as your own. Um, but there's really nothing for me to, to, to do to stop that other than to say you can't make a copy of it, which I can disable, but then that defeats the purpose of giving it out to begin with. So the bottom line is, if you come across a document that's marked as view only and you want to make a copy of it to save in your Google Drive, you can certainly do that. Just be respectful about how you then modify the document and how you then redistribute the document. That if you redistribute it, just be upfront and say, I found it on such and such place, or I found the original created by Richard Byrne. I found the created found the original created by such and such person and this is my modification of that. So that's kind of the ethical way that I think you can use the Google documents that you find online that are marked as view only. Now if you're looking for tutorials on how to make a copy of a document that's view only, you can find a link to that down below here. I also have a link down below here where you can find how you can find Google documents that have been shared publicly as view only. And if you have any questions for me about this topic or other EdTech related topics, feel free to send me an email, richard at burn.media, or take a look through the archives at freetech4teachers.com.